Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So use your newfound knowledge, this being your newfound knowledge, to show that no matter where C is, O C is here, then uh, then the angle, then this angle will always be 90 degrees. Suppose C is here, then uh, then this angle here will be 90 degrees. Suppose C is here, then uh, then this angle here will be 90 degrees. So use your newfound knowledge to show that no matter where C is, uh, here, 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 whatever, the angle, the angle here will be 90 degrees. Remember from from some of the early videos to show that um, to show that two vectors or or perpendicular to each other, meaning 90 degrees, um, the dot product must equal zero. If you want to show that two parallel lines or uh, two two vectors or, or parallel, then you need to make sure that this angle here is either equal to zero or equal to pi. Okay, so so press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, to do this, the location, the location of C, let's say C is here, uh, the location of C will, will always be given by by this. So no matter where the, what, no matter what the angle is, no matter what theta is, uh, the location of C will always be given by this. Because if you look at this, suppose C is here, then 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 this distance here will be cos theta and the height would be this. Suppose C is over here, um, this angle here would be more than more than 90, but if, if you put it into here, the location will give you a negative. This thing here will be a negative, so it will mean you're moving in a negative direction. And then put, put an angle above 90, suppose you're here, put an angle above 90 into here, then, uh, then this thing here will give you a positive answer, then it will mean you going up. The point is that no matter where C is, this will always be your location of C. So the vector u, the vector u, we're going to say, we're going to define this vector u here as being from the center to here. So that would be one across and, uh, and zero up. By the way, we're, we're, we're deliberately creating a circle of radius one. We could use circle of radius three, but one is simpler. So let's say u is from, from the center to here. So this is our vector for u. So v, so v would be, um, oh, oh, uh, in order for us to use this, because we are trying to show, because we are trying to show that this angle here is 90, our center of the universe is located at C. So we, we need, we need our vector to, to deviate from C. So we need, we need this to be our vector. So we need from C to B, and then the other vector being from C to, to A, because we are trying to find this angle here, uh, so that means we are centered, our, our, our center of the universe will be at C, so we need this factor here radiating from C, so we need this factor here, so so to travel from, from C to B, we're going to travel along here, and then from the center we're going to travel along here, that will then take us from, from C to B, so, so from C to the center will be given by, by this, by this, okay. Th think about it. From so if if you if you're at C, then you need to go. If the location at, if the location of C is always is always this, then then you to get from C to the center, you would need to go backwards in the x direction. That would be negative cos, and then you would need to go backwards. Uh, you would need to go down, so that would be negative sine. That would be negative sine. So the vector from C to the center is given by by this, but then we want from C to B because we we need to extract this this factor here from C to B. So we need to go down. We need to go down uh, here. So so that would mean us going uh, negative uh, negative cos. So so from C to B, from C to B, we would need negative cos and so negative cos and then and well we we would need to do this from here, from the center to here. That would then give us this. Okay, I'm not I'm not explaining this very well, but let let me have another go at explaining this. From C to B, you would need to go down here. Well, going down here would be you going going minus cos in the x direction, uh, and then and then down would be minus sine. My, well, I'm not explaining it very well, but but C to B would be given by by this. Think about it. C to B is given by this. From uh, 
from C to A because we need we need to abstract this these two vectors. So uh, so from C to A, from C to A, we would need to we would need to go down here and then across here. So that would be minus U. So that 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 would then give us that would then give us this. I hope you can accept these these two moves. Think about it. it um, think about it. I, I didn't explain it very well. Uh, and then so so now we have our, our vector C B. So that's this vector here. And then uh, and then the vector C A C A is given by this. So now we can we can make use of this. Remember if um, if if the dot product equals zero, then we know the two vectors are are at ninety degrees with each other. So now let's compute the dot product. So the dot product will be would be this times this. So I'm just gonna reimagine this as being uh, reimagine this as being one minus cos theta, and then this thing here would be I'm gonna I'm gonna write it as negative one first, negative one, and then uh, negative cos. Uh, so so now uh, the dot product would be this times this. So that would be this times this would be negative one. Uh, this times this would be negative cos, and then you've got a a positive cos here because of this negative. So that they're, they're going to cancel each other out, and the last one would be cos uh, times cos. So that would be cos squared, and then uh, and then the dot product would be this times this. So that would be sine squared theta. So now this thing here was one. So negative one plus one would be zero. So the dot product, the dot product, is uh, is equal to zero. So therefore, the the vector, this vector here, is not is at ninety degrees to this uh, vector here, which is ninety degrees here. So it's always at ninety degrees, no matter where c is. It's always going to be ninety degrees. Okay.